Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And I was just browsing through my blog, checking out some variants which we may not have covered as yet. And I came across this Sudoku which is known as a full rank Sudoku. And I thought why not feature it because this is one of the fun variants if you may call it. Not uh, very frequent I will say but not too rare as well. So what exactly are the rules of this Sudoku? And the rules are basically that rules of classic Sudoku apply obviously. Additionally each row and column forms a nine digit number and this is read from both directions. So each row will basically form two numbers, one which is read left to right and the other being, it, uh, being read right to left. And we have 36 such nine digit numbers and all of these are unique, meaning no digit can uh, or no nine digit number can be the same. And all these numbers have been ranked from lowest to highest, lowest getting the first rank and the highest getting the 36th rank. And we have to identify how it is placed. Now normally it might be very boggling as to who is going to remember 36 nine digit numbers, right? But there are small tricks that we use here. Don't think of these as 36 nine digit numbers. Think of these as nine sets of four digits each. Why do I say that? Because we know when I look at the wall of the Sudoku, the digit one will be seen exactly four times, right? So basically we know there will be four numbers, which four nine digit numbers, which will begin with one. Similarly, for the two, three and all. So basically every digit from one to nine will form a set of four each. So I'll have four numbers with one, four with two, four with three, so on and so forth. And all we need to do is focus on these sets of four. And since all digits beginning with one will be less than all the digits that are beginning with a two. So we know the first four digits in the series will always begin begin with the digit 1. Similarly, digits ranks 5 to 8 will have 2, 9 to 12 will begin with 3 and so on and so forth till 33 to 36 will begin with the digit 9. This helps us place all the digits around the border. So for example, I have a 1 here. So this is a 1 rank 2 this is a 3 and a 4. Then I jump to the 5 which will be a 2, 7, 8 and 6. Then we start off with 9. Oh, 9 and 10 are here. So both take the digit 3 where we have 12 and 11. Then we come to 13 which will be 4. 15 also is taken care of. 14 and 16. Then we go to 17 which is a 5. 19, 18 and 20 which is a 5. So you see starting off this puzzle is very easy when you break it up into the sets. 23 and 24 and this is a 6. So 7s. So we go to 25, 26, 28 and 27. 34 will be a 9, 32 will be an 8. This will be an 8 and a 9. 9 and an 8 and this will finally be an 8 and a 9. So as I said we always start off by filling the extreme numbers. Now comes the next. So next we start off like a classic. Now that we have plenty more digits on the board so we go with 7 and 7. This cannot be a 7 so I get a 7 here. And next would be 4, 4, this can be a 4, that's my 4. So this is a 2, 3, 5. Okay, sorry, this is a 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5. 
one is placed here so this will be a 282828 two with the one okay hmm now one more two two okay this eight eight this cannot be an eight so that's my eight missing r this is a three seven because of this one three seven one three seven okay what next oh nine nine this is a nine so one is here this is a one and seven cannot be here so this is a one with a seven so the seven will be here okay that gives me a two and a three here all right this would be four six and eight so that's a four six four six eight four six eight Hmm. Now what next? Two, three, twenty-one. What are we missing? Okay. Nine. One, four, eight, six. Okay, what all are missing here? I can have a three, four, six, nine. Three, four, six, nine. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Hmm. This will again be nine eight seven six is not possible five two and three no not a three sorry and this will be two five and a seven mm. One four eight six. What is the rank two one two five? Twenty two is here. Okay. Yeah. Now we start using the ranks to eliminate possibilities. Now when I say look, twenty four is a nine digit number which has the first year six nine seven. Which is obviously greater than the twenty-third rank one, which is six eight one. Correct with a four. So I can definitely have a six eight one here again, but this will have to be less than a four, which can be a three possible. Let's see what can I have here. Three five nine. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see here. I can have a nine. Eight is not possible. Seven is possible. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. And this one, one, one. And how silly of us! Three cannot be here. Three cannot be here. We miss this out. Two cannot be here. So this has to be a four and a five. And with the two getting placed here, this cannot be a two. So this has to be a five, six, seven. The two is placed here. Three can be in any one of these two. Okay. Now, I cannot have a 1 here. The reason being that 31st rank will have 8, 1. Whereas a 30th rank, the minimum number that I can have is a 3. So obviously the 31st rank has to be larger than that, right? Hence I can eliminate the 1 and this becomes a 
10 is 359. So this has to be at least 5 or greater. I can't have a 9, 8, 7, 5, 6 is possible. Because if this were a 4, then the rank of the 11th one would be less than the 10th, right? Hence it has to be greater than 5, but we already have a 5. So this becomes a 6. 6, 6, 6, which makes this a 3. Right? 2, 4, 5, 6, and this would be again 2, 5, 6, A. Next, event is 3, 6. What is the 12th rank? Okay, 12th will have to be greater than a 3, 6, right? So this will have to be a 7, which makes this a 7. I have a 1, 3, so this again, the 3 is eliminated and this becomes a 3. First rank is 1, 3. So I can't have the second rank as 1, 2, right? So this will be a 5, makes this a 2 and a 5. So that's a 6 and a 2. So that's a 4 with a 6. I have a 4, 8 here, okay? So this is a 5 and a 2 by classic rules. I require a 4 and a 9, okay? Now 6, let's look at the fifth rank. Oh, this is 2, 1, 3, so this can be a 4, that's fine. And what is the 7th? Okay, with 2, what the possibility? Okay, let's remove this 2 here, 1, 8, 1, 8, 5, right? 1, 5, 8, 1, 5. Now, the 7th rank has to be larger than the 6th one. So, obviously, this cannot be a 9. That becomes a 4 and that's a 7. The reason being if this is a 9, whichever number comes here will have a lesser rank, which is just not possible. So this is a 1, 5, which makes this a 3 and a 1. So we eliminate this and the 9 also is out. So this is my 9. 4, 6, 4, 6, so that's a 3, 2 and a 3. So this is a 2, 22nd is 6, 2, 23rd is 6, 8, perfectly fine. Okay, so that's a 4 and a 6, yes, so that becomes a 4 and an 8. Hmm. One, five. 31st is 8, 7, 32nd rank is what? 8, 9. Great. Bigger. Okay, 30th is 84. Okay, so this is not going to help us. This is 189 is missing. So this is my 9, which becomes a 18 here. Hmm. 16th is 47. Let's look for rank 15, 46. Okay, 22nd. 11 is 3, 6, 12 is 3, 7. Hmm. Fourteen. Was rank 13, 4, 5, 2. So I cannot have a 1 here. This has to be a 5 because 4, 5, 9 will lead to a series of numbers which are bigger than 4, 5, 2. So now we have this 1, 8 and 1, 8, which we need to resolve. 20 seconds, 16. Oh yes, the sixth ranked number has 2, 4 and a 9, right? 
So obviously the seventh rank will need a second digit which has to be equal to or greater than four. So I can't have a one here. That's an eight and a one. And this is how we finally eliminate the digits to get the solution. The system says we are correct. I know this is a very not so frequent Sudoku, but it's definitely a fun solve. And we do, I mean, initially, once we get the digits along the edges on the borders, then we start to use the classic rules along with some help from the ranks of the digit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have obviously added the link to this Sudoku in the description. So if you want to try it out, do go ahead and give it a shot. And if you did enjoy, like, share it with your friends, let them know about it. And like I always say, let me know through the comments if you have a specific variant you want us to cover. And yes, we are approaching October and there's soon going to be some huge, huge announcements from the team at Sudoku Mania. So do keep tuned in. And till the next time, happy solving.